Hey family, hello, hello to my kings, my queens, my brothers and my sisters in the spirit. I greet you all with love and light of the most high God, the infinite creator, source of all things, source within. Thank you for checking back in with your sister, okay? I know it's been a minute. I'm uh, trying to like get in this rhythm of doing maybe a video once a week, you know? Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, I try not to go two weeks, okay? So be looking out for me um, at least within the weeks, you know, or uh, if you don't see me within seven days, you know, it'll definitely be before, you know, two weeks, okay? So with that being said, uh, hey, you see the title. Yes, indeed, you see the title. Let me just say this real quick before I get started. A lot of people have been asking me, um, they've been asking me, how do you know if your third eye is awakened? Because they have been watching me. Uh, following, following, follow me on my journey, and I appreciate many of you. Uh, I definitely want many of you to start, you know, focusing more on yourself because it's not about me. I do appreciate me, and many of you, lots of love. I'm definitely, I'm definitely receiving the love, but I want many of you to focus more on yourself as well and start mastering yourself. Okay, and that's all I want to say on that. But I have been receiving a lot of uh, questions. Uh, as far as how you know your third eye is awakened, let me just break it down real quick. Just real quick and simple. When you close your eyes and while you're in meditation, I say at least go at least starting off at least 15 minutes. At least give yourself at least 15 minutes. If you're not seeing colors while your eyes are closed, if you're not seeing shadowy movement while your eyes are closed in the distance it don't have to be up close it can be up close or in the distance but you're seeing like shadowy movement in the distance if you're not seeing sacred geometrical shapes such as maybe um you know or, or just art symbols you know um like uh spirals you know uh, and one in the distance you might see a pin light and it's moving towards you and it's in the distance moving up closer and closer. Or maybe a light in the distance that's flickering. If you're not seeing people's faces or even beings that are appearing before you, if you're not seeing numbers, if you're not seeing anything other than just being in pitch black darkness, which is okay, because that is the beginning point. If you're not seeing anything but just darkness and no spark of light anywhere, your third eye is not activated. It has not awakened yet. You need to be seeing something, okay? Some people, when they first start to happen for them, they start seeing colors. You know, these are the basic. I know for me, I was seeing colors. And I was seeing a little movement in the distance. Couldn't quite make it out because it was shaded and dark as well. But eventually, by and by, you know, you would start seeing more clearly with clarity. But these are like all the beginning stages. I heard some people give answers like, oh, you start seeing one, 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 two, 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 two. That's more like when you start to become more awakened and your guides and angels are trying to get your attention. But I won't, I'm not going to say that, you know, we start seeing these numbers. That's a sign that your third eye is awakened. No, for me, uh, that didn't have anything to do with my third eye. I, I just started to eventually, I went from being in pit, pitch darkness to I started seeing lights. It looked like it was in the distance, you know, moving up towards me a little bit. Start seeing shades of, you know, even in the in the pit of darkness, start seeing shades of colors. That's right. Even in darkness, colors will start to appear to you. Then sacred geometrical shapes, and so on. And some people, when they their eye really gets advanced and active, okay, they will start seeing people, beings. They will start seeing a lot of light being. They will start seeing uh, what look like projected images, a, pro a projected image being displayed before them. Everybody's different. But I just want to put that out there. That's when you know 
you know what you know. And nobody took that from you. When you know what you know, that's when you know, okay, your mind is awakened. Oh, I don't need nobody to tell me, you know, it's awakened. It is. I, I know the things I've seen. It's awakened. And it's so much more. I just wanted to give you just a, you know, just some of that. And also, let me just say this real quick. My son, he's 20 years old. He'll be 21 in January. Yeah, it's my little young man. My little king, you know, my son. He, how I knew this third eye would start to awaken because he told me he was seeing the eye while he was asleep. All of a sudden, he was conscious and he saw a big old eye staring at him. He said it was green. Now, I've seen this eye before too, but for me, it wasn't green. You know, uh, everybody's going to see this so-called eye differently. Some people call it the eye of Horus or Ra or whatever. But everybody's going to see this eye differently for them. Now, there's more to this eye. Let me just say this. I never heard nobody talk about it, but I can only speak for myself, my experience, my testimony. I can only speak for myself. There's more to this eye family, and it's nothing to be afraid of. You know, we hear a lot of things. We all been programmed to hear a lot of things. But once this spiritual eye is awakened, you are connected to Christ consciousness. We are all one. We are all consciously awakened and connected. And what? You start to see this eye, like I said, there's more to it. For me, this eye, the more I started to see it, and I started to remove fear, because you have to. When you go through yourself, you have to remove fear. But once I got accustomed to seeing this eye, this eye, let me just say, you know, uh, that which was behind the eye started to reveal itself to me. and started to back up, and I started seeing the whole image. Let me just say that. That's all I'm going to say. But I just wanted to say that to many of you. Just to give you a little, you know, idea of, okay, well, I'm seeing this eye. You know, if I need to learn how to master myself to where I can start seeing, you know, more to this eye. Okay? Because there's more to this eye. And many of you are seeing it. You know, while you see just the eye. The one I see, you know, not only will I see the eye, but it will blank at me. You know, it'll be like this. Just the eye. And it's doing this. But it's staring back at me. So that's all I want to say. But how, how I knew my son, th uh, third eye was starting to awaken. That he told me to start seeing the eye. And there was so much more that he has been telling me. And I'm not going to reveal. Because, you know, this is his little spiritual journey. He started, he started to awaken slowly. I'm his mom. I'm there for him. But, I, you know, I, I definitely try not to force um, things on him. You know, he, he got to awaken slowly for himself. Because this is his spiritual walk. But... He is getting to that place of awakening because he's telling me a lot of things he's seen within himself. You know, he's hearing like these spiritual voices speaking to him and telling him certain things. So he's 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 definitely starting to awaken. You know, it's, it's slowly. Everybody has to get to that place for themselves. And um, but he he and and also uh, you know these spiritual beings are showing him symbols as well. So like I said, everybody's different. Everybody's different. Cause I see a lot of symbols within myself too. So anyway. Let's get this video going. It's going to be short. It's definitely going to be short. I'm going to go in my room and I'm going to use my daughter a little drawing board so I can show you something that I have seen that could be beneficial to many of you, those who choose to uh, apply it. Okay, so let's get to it. All right, family, we're in my room. I will be using my daughter a little drawing pad right here. Okay. These are so good to have, I tell you. And this is my new little uh, background, as you see. Isn't that cool or what? I'm sure many of you have seen these so-called images within yourself. I love it. It's so cool. A lot of these images I, I see all the time within myself, but that's just me. All right. Now this right here, I'm not going to really speak about on this video. Maybe another video for those whom seem to be very interested. But um, yeah, I speak about that on another video. I don't want to make these videos real long. So let me get to the point. All righty, family. 
this image right here is an image I have seen before while I was sun gazing. And pretty much, like we all know, for instance, let me see. We all know, for instance, you know, you'll see the sun. Well, oh, this ain't even working. Hold on. When we're looking outside at the sun. It's like this. We're looking at the sun for those who are sun gazing like your sister. And while I'm staring at the sun, you know, for a little bit, I'll start seeing like shadowy, shadowy balls coming from the sun. Like maybe one here, one here, one here, and one here. But these look shadowy looking, okay? Now what I do, I like to sun gaze a little bit, and then I like to go, I like to come in and I like to meditate. But while I'm outside and I'm staring at the sun, I'm seeing shadowy balls, okay, outside. And I hope you follow me, family. If it, it seems like I'm going too fast, I apologize. I just want to get to the point. You can always, always re rewind this video and um, just replay it, okay? Now, when I come in and close my eyes, I'm going to use blue, okay? This is not the color I see. I'm giving you an example. I'm still seeing those shadowy balls within my spiritual view, okay? Because my eyes are closed. Normally, I would see this right here while I close my eyes, okay? I would see something like this. I'm closing my eyes. And I'm getting ready to get to the point. Just bear with me, okay? Now, for some of you, you know, you might think of uh, the cross, okay? For some of you, you might think of the cross. Or for some of you, you might say, well, okay, when I look at this symbol right here, um, it sort of, sort of reminds me of the railroad cross. The railroad track, shall I say, that you see like in motor vehicles when you try to apply for your license. In a way, it's sort of like the railroad track symbol, you know? Depending on, you know, which way you're looking at it, okay? Let me take this off real quick. Let me erase this. I don't know if I want to use this marker. It's like it's hard to erase. So I went from being outside sun gazing, coming in, seeing those little balls still you know, within my um, spiritual view. And it went from there to where these balls would disappear, right? And I would start seeing a line look just like this. Like I said, sort of remind you of the cross, okay? And this is why I'm in meditation. So I would just meditate on this symbol, okay? I would just meditate on it. The longer you are in meditation, I cannot speak for everybody else, but for me, the longer I'm in the meditation, I, this right here will start to change a little bit. I will, my essence will start moving closer to it, right? Like this. Start moving closer to it. And all of a sudden, this right here will start to expand. The closer I get to it, like this, it will start to expand, and I will see something looks like this. Now follow me. So as you see, it sort of looks like a door, but it's way in the distance, okay? Way in the distance. That dot that was once like this, okay? That was once like this, that was connected like this. The closer I got to it, right? Like this, it started to look like this, okay? This is what I see within myself. So as my essence is moving forward, I would find myself sort of going down a dark hallway okay now for many of you who, for many of you who are trying to find yourself you want the truth and you're seeking the alaska records okay uh that's what this is the place where you hear where you can find out who you are when you're seeking um answers about yourself okay this dark hallway would take you there now what it's going to show you that's for you to know all i know is I receive a lot of my information also going down this dark 
walk in these dark holes, okay? And it is dark. For me, it is dark. You do, and this is dark too, because it looks very shot. It looks very dark looking, but you know it's there at the end. Now, so for some of you, you might not see, um, but some of you, hold on, let me show you something. Hold on, let me see something. I left this on here, and I didn't mean to do that. For some of you, it might start looking like this. It'll go from there to this right here. Bear with me. I'm not the best artist. I apologize. Just bear with me. For some of you, it's going to look like this. Okay. It's going to look just like this. Like a little. But it is a path. It is a path. Okay. It is a path. Now, on this side, it's dark. This side is dark. But you can see this path. It's not that bright, but you can see it because your essence is moving forward towards this right here. And a lot of times, this right here is not that big. A lot of times, it's not that big. It's kind of, it looks sort of like this. I'm trying to get it as accurate as I can. A lot of times, it looks just like this. The closer you get, it looks just like this, as though you're moving towards it, okay? So, y'all see that? This is what your sister's seeing. I don't know what you see, but this is what I see. So as I'm going down this hall, right? And I showed you the and I showed me of you of you the different steps that it took for me to get to this right here. All of a sudden those lines on the cross disappear. And I start seeing this. Some of you might just come out and start seeing this automatically. But I'm just trying to let you know how, how I got to this point. So as I'm moving, my essence is moving like this, okay? And it seems like it takes forever to get here because basically you have to stay focused. Just like there are distractions out here in this realm, this 3D realm, there's also distractions within yourself. Keep that in mind. Just like there are distractions out here in this 3D realm, there are also distractions when you're going within yourself. Depending on where you are vibrationally, you're going to be dealing with distraction, period. On the east side, okay, you're not going to see a wall here and a wall there, but you're going to assume it's a wall because it's pitch black. The only thing you will see is this in the distance, and you will see the, the floor let it a little bit. It sort of reminds you like, like you going in, you know how you go inside these pyramids and they have like, like those little lanterns on the wall. It sort of reminds you of something like that, but you never do see a lantern on the wall or anything. But anyway, let me get to the point. But all of a sudden, even though it's dark on each side, you're still dealing with distractions. Now, some of you have animal totems. For me, a cat, my cat animal totem is oh she's it's, I mean, i'm sorry my animal totem is a cat but i'm because to me I, I don't know why but for to me it's like i'm going in the underworld and i'm gonna tell you why because it's dark for one thing and while i'm walking this path i will see a cat she's white and she would jump up in my arms i didn't know what that was about at first but of course i know now cats are of sound protection like i said it's dark on this side and, and you really cannot see what's going on this side. Maybe some of you do see what's going on this side as you're moving closer towards this right here. But I was still a cat. I call her Pearl. She would jump up in my arm. She has beautiful green eyes. And sometimes I'm, I'm accompanied by other cats. Now, so this is me, your sister, right here, right? This is me, okay? This is me, and, and I'm walking these halls, okay? I'm, I'm walking the hall, and I'm trying to get here. And my cat... Is in my arms, okay? She's in my arm. Cats are a sign of protection, and they definitely detect evil um, that's around, okay? And when you are in this realm, you know you don't you don't know what's looking at you or what's watching you. Um, that's lurking because it's dark on each side. This has been my experience. The closer I get, sometimes she would jump out of my hand and she would walk in front of me. Sometimes I would have maybe two cats walking in front of me and she's in my arms and when, I, when I'm holding her when I'm holding her right she'll like this like she'll turn to the right or to the left it depends what's going on you know in the in the darkness on the side of me she's like like that you know and I'm like you know and I, but, but I'm, I'm walking I'm walking I'm keeping my eyes focused on that door now once i get to it i don't see a door let me say that i see something that looks sort of like a um of a i don't know what you call them is it a scepter kind of furniture but i forgot the name of it but i would see something like that okay so for me it's not a door 
But I would see something like that once I get up to it. And then for me, I would see, once I get up to it, I would see something that looks like this. All right, family, my phone cut off. I apologize, so let me hurry up and get to the point before it cut off again. But on top of the table, right, I would see a book, and it would have, like, strange writing. This is made-up writing right here. It would have, like, strange writing. For the life of me, I cannot read the writing, okay? I'm looking at it, but it does not make sense to me. But I know my inner man understands it. And by and by, it will come to me. That which is for my highest good when it's time for me to, to know it. But I would see, like, strange writing on top of it and I would look at it I would turn the page I would look at it and sometimes I would see pictures but for the most part I'm seeing the writing and I would just flip through it you know um I can't speak for nobody else I'm just telling you what I've seen thus far once I reached the end I can't speak for nobody else but I just want to share that with many of you real quick and lastly what I mentioned to you about the eye okay I also mentioned that I have seen all right, family. I've also mentioned to you that I have seen something like this also. This symbol right here. It looks like a circle. Half circle. Half circle. Bear with me. Bear with me. I'm not the best artist, okay? Now, The more I mastered myself staring at this so-called symbol, okay, I started seeing what looks like this. I would just sit there, and as this center part expand over, in the center, it would open up, okay, and I would see this right here. Alrighty, family, I apologize. My phone keeps shutting off. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to get the information out. So um, let's just hope for the best this time around. Anyway, once I will see this half circle shape, it's facing each other. See, it's like a half circle. Because this part right here is not, it's open. This is open. I mentioned this, mentioned this before, okay? In my past videos, I've seen this before. This right here will open up in the middle kind of like spread apart and there are times I will see images and I will and there has been time I will see an eye that will pop up from this okay now what could it mean for me to see the eye to pop up inside of this I cannot tell you I don't have all the answers all I'm doing is sharing with you the things I've seen within myself because when you go through yourself a lot of things are not going to make no sense all you are you are the observer you're learning a lot about yourself. You are the observer and your spirit in a man is trying to show you things about yourself that man cannot tell you. Only the spirit, your divine that's within you can show you these things, you know, like your past lives or just secret secret things about you. A lot of times it might not just be about you. It could just be, you know, showing you the mystery of the kingdom, just showing you things, you know. So anyway, um, I would see this eye. And it would appear, and you know, once this right here has moved over and this moved over, you know, it separate. I will see this eye. I've also, I've also have seen other images, but I'm not going to speak on that right now. I don't think everything's for everybody, because I want to keep many of you in a place of seeking. So, so, so shall you find? If I show you certain images, some of you will go in fear mode, and I don't want that. Because it's, it's not about that. You can never really expand yourself going within as well as master yourself when you are operating in fear. Because every time we see certain symbols, you know, we all, we automatically think something negative and that's not the case. You know, these symbols have been around a long time and who created, I mean, who came up with the name of these symbols? Yeah, man. Okay. So anyway, I always go back with your inner man is telling you that's what most important so i just want to share that symbol with you family there are a lot of spiritual portals that you will see within yourself for many of you the third eye is awakened a lot of you i know for me i started off seeing this right here just all of a sudden you know i saw this little pin dot of light in a distance and now all of a sudden it just
But many, I don't know, that ain't cool. But many of you, you're going to start, hold on, let me get it right. But many of you, you're going to start seeing this appear before you. And sometimes I would see like light beams shooting out from the center, you know, just shooting out, flying. Many of you might start seeing something like this, you know, like this is also a spiritual portal within yourself. This it is a very, the spiral is a very ancient symbol and you can only know what it is for you, not what man tell you. Even not, even not what I tell you, when you start seeing this symbol, you're going to know what it, what it means for you, okay? Because these symbols are on a lot of ancient cave sites, okay, as well as ancient Egypt slash Kemet, as well as, you know, all over the world, you know, uh, you have scientists, they don't even know what the, hell it, what the hell they mean, but I know what it means for me, I know when I, when I go within myself, you know, uh, I see it, I see it, and as I move up closer to it, you know, it takes me places, so anyway, and I'm trying to think, for some of you, you might see, mm, what's that? For some of you, you might see something in, in a distance. Uh, la, 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 la. It's going to be different for everybody now, okay? It's going to be different for everybody. You're going to see something in a distance that looks like this. And, has, and it's, it's shift shaping. It has a lot of beautiful lights inside of it. And it's constantly spinning. There's a lot of activity going on inside of it. And some of you might see light beams shooting out of it, flying. But many of you will start seeing this in the distance within yourself. This is also a spiritual portal. The closer you get to it, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It gets bigger and bigger. And that's all I'm going to say right now. I don't want to say too much. I, I like I love a lot of feedback because I don't know what many of you are seeing within yourself, and only you who have seen this, you will know where I'm coming from. I can't speak for I can't speak for everybody. A lot of people watching me just for entertainment, so that's all I'm going to say. But this that also is a spiritual portal that I have entered in, and also that one that particular one has taken me to the higher realms. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. You know, I can I can see this light within me, and I can see it outside of me. It's sort of like, like a spinning star. I guess that's one way of saying it. I know I said a spinning chakra, but the only reason I said that because chakra has like, you know, these different colors. But it sort of reminds me of like a spinning star, but it has all these beautiful colors inside of it. So that's all I want to say, family. I don't want to make these videos long. I love y'all in Christ. Thank you for checking your sister out. And um, like I said, you know, uh, please, family, be mindful. Um, be positive out here. Don't watch too much of the news. They're telling you what they want you to know. Like I said, remember who uh, who owns the news. That's the point I'm trying to make. The news, the news is just pretty much to keep us all distracted, okay, and dumbed down, you know, and program as well. Um, get your information from within. Please do. And definitely do some self-meditation. Get your own answers from within yourself. Much love to my kings and queens. Thank you for checking your sister out. I hope you know that um, what I was trying to show you today, they be helpful to many of you to start meditating on. If not, do you. Just do you. And because I'm not, I'm not the person that's telling you, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. No. Do you. Do what works for you because everybody's different. One love to you all. Bye for now.